Hello there and happy Saturday everybody. My name is Mr. G, a student meteorologist and I have the weather forecast for you guys today as we work through this uh, holiday weekend here. Hope you guys all had a great Thanksgiving and having a wonderful weekend. I'm going to give you the forecast, get you ready for the upcoming week next week and to let you know what to expect as you head back to work or school on Monday as well as the remainder of this weekend. Our city of the day is Wichita, Kansas, where we are seeing a winter wonderland out there across Wichita right now, where we have a lot of snow. There's a lot of snow falling across the central plains right now, so through parts of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma as well, as well as parts of Colorado and Wyoming, so we're seeing that very large area of snow moving across the plains out there right now. So uh, it looks like it's a little bit of a low in the activity right here over Kansas, over Wichita, because you can see you don't really see much any more activity falling compared to a little bit earlier. But we do see that fresh powder on the ground right there. So the roadways are pretty slippery as this is the first uh, significant snowfall of the season for you folks in Kansas, in central Kansas today. So again, there you go with that wintry precipitation out there. A little bit of a break in the clouds, a little bit lighter now because it was much more uniform gray out there while that precipitation was falling, but we're seeing things starting to slacken up a little bit. But that snow will pick back up again later as we have that very large area of wintry precipitation moving across the central plains. And that's going to be headed towards the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest as we head into this evening and into tomorrow as well. And we're going to take a look at that just right now as we move on with the rest of the weather forecast and talk about the lower 48. Now let's take a look at our very first map here and we're going to be talking about what we're going to be looking at for the remainder of the weekend across the country. The West Coast, we're not going to really talk that much about in this video because your weather is A-OK. -okay. Conditions is dry, uh, the temperatures are seasonal for this time of the year, so not much to complain about on the West Coast. On the other side of our jet stream right here, you see that strong jet stream as we have a pretty deep trough here across the central part of the country and that trough is pulling that cold air down out of Canada so we're seeing it very cold across the plains and the high plains today and this weekend but we're going to see that snow uh, diving off here across the, uh, the upper midwest and into the Great Lakes we're going to see that very heavy swaths of snow, uh, some pretty significant snowfall where some areas could pick up about a foot or more of snow. So we are seeing some significant snowfall out there. Nice weather is going to be had across the northeast and down across the southeastern U.S. to the Gulf Coast. Not much to complain about there yet, but that cold weather is on the way. So get ready for that snow and wind and very cold temperatures. Uh, we're going to see some rain here across the southern plains and in two parts of the, uh, the Mississippi River Valley. So along the Mississippi River to the Gulf Coast, we're going to be seeing some showers there and some isolated thunderstorms. Fortunately, no severe weather is expected with this activity, but we are seeing some rain showers out there this afternoon and this evening and you will see those showers again tomorrow as this storm system makes its way up here into the Great Lakes and eventually far the extreme northeast there in Maine and off into Nova Scotia by the time we get to Monday. So on our next map, let's take a look at that snow that's going to be moving across the upper Midwest tonight and into your day on Sunday. We're going to be seeing uh, up to a foot of snow fall for some folks here across portions of, uh, of Missouri, Iowa. We're talking about Wisconsin, uh, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, and into parts of uh, Canada here. So we have uh, Ontario, Canada. So Toronto, we're going to see some of that snow head your way as well. And we're also going to see some winds driving in behind this snowstorm. And eventually, some lake effect snow we're going to talk about across the uh, upper Midwest and into the Great Lakes. So here we are as we're going to see those temperatures begin to fall across the Northeast and into New England. We're going to see rain here along the I-95 corridor. So 
the Atlantic side of Maine, so the eastern Maine here, eastern Massachusetts, uh, Connecticut and Rhode Island, through New Jersey, uh, southern New York, uh, Maryland, we're going to see that rain along 595, so we're going to be warm enough for rain, but we're going to see a mix of rain and snow over the interior of Pennsylvania, upstate New York, uh, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, the interior of Maine as well, and along the St. Lawrence River Valley near Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, we're going to be seeing the snow, and then we're going to see things change over completely to snow over in Ontario, Canada, as well as Quebec. So we're going to see that snow over Michigan. So our winter storm system here off the coast of the Atlantic is going to be keeping that northeasterly flow going right now. So we're going to see that northerly flow, northeasterly flow as this low pressure works its way along the Atlantic coast. Once this load makes it to the north here across Maine, we're going to have the backside and we're going to see those winds switch to the northwest. So we're going to start to see things get rather colder and a lot more snow is going to infiltrate this area. So we're going to see more snow into the northeast as our low pressure center makes its way towards the northeast and moves towards Nova Scotia. So as that low approaches Nova Scotia, those winds over New England are going to switch to the northwest behind that counterclockwise flow of that area of low pressure there. So uh, some much colder air is on the way in the northeast. So Monday we're going to be seeing that low pressure there up in the approaching Nova Scotia. A lot of words to say. But we're going to be seeing it get very cold and we're going to start to see some snow over the interior of the Northeast and New England. So uh, cold country here through Pennsylvania and Western New York. So Buffalo, Syracuse, Pittsburgh, we're going to start to see that snow. Those northwesterly winds, that much colder air working its way in. So we're going to see uh, travel delays as some of you try to make your way home from the holiday uh, celebration and you head back to your home to get ready to go back to school and work. You're going to have a little bit of uh, travel uh, problems as you head back on the roadways and maybe some uh, uh, slight flight delays as well if you're going to be leaving out of Syracuse, Buffalo, or Pittsburgh International Airport. And you're going to be dealing with that. So I uh, just want to be the one to let you know that things are going to be a little bit dicey as some of that blustery. It's going to be quite windy. So we're going to be dealing with a strong wind from the west. So that can make flight travel a little bit uh, interesting in that region. So we got to talk about a lot of lake effect snow here across the Great Lakes as we have that prevailing wind from the west northwest there blowing out of Canada and from the Central Plains and that pattern of air is going to blow across the Great Lakes and that's going to cause a lot of lake effect snow here across Lake Superior. So if you are here in up northern Michigan, we have Marquette, South St. Marie, you're going to be dealing with lake effect snow. And you can see some heavy snow here over South St. Marie and northern Michigan here down in the boot. So places like Gaylord, Traverse City, um, uh, Allegan, Michigan, you're going to be seeing uh, a lot of that lake effect snow over northwestern section of the boot coming off of Lake Michigan. And we're going to see that snow coming off of Lake Superior for the Upper Peninsula. And if you are here in Ontario, Canada, you're going to see that heavy snow over places like Niagara Falls coming off of Lake Huron here. We're going to see that northwesterly breeze that's going to really be kicking up a lot of that lake effect snow. Lake Erie as well, so Pittsburgh and Buffalo is going to see that lake effect snow as well as up here in Lake Ontario. We're going to see that snow for Syracuse. So a lot of lake effect snow where we can pick up the uh, over a foot of snow in some of these situations and uh, possibly even more, almost as much as two feet 
it could be possible in some areas with the lake effect snow if you are getting more of the direct impact of that lake effect snow the closer you are to the lake the heavier that snow is going to be for you again here is that snowfall totals across the area well we can see a max of 48 inches of snow and that's going to be down here and once again across the buffalo area and up here in northern michigan over the boot here in this area near traverse city we can see heavy amounts of snow and again northern wisconsin places like superior wisconsin as well as marquette michigan and so St. Marie, Michigan, and Syracuse. So wherever you see the dark blue is where we can see over two feet of snow. We're gonna see that uh, 18 to 24 inch, but there is an isolated 48 inch snow uh, fall possible there. That would be an isolated area where the models are projecting the potential for 48 inches of snow. So again, a pretty big significant lake effect snow event is going to take place on your weekend here and as you head into monday so monday and the tuesday it's going to be downright cold you're going to freeze your little tushies off heading back to work monday if you are in new york or in anywhere in the the big new york state here or in new england you're going to be trying to get to the train on in boston or something like that that's going to be blustery so wear your heavy coats you're going to need your winter coats on this one, not a light jacket. It's going to be cold, and that wind is going to make quite the wind chill. We're going to see those wind chills feeling like it's in the teens and 20s out there, while the actual air temperatures will be in the lower 30s to near 40, but those wind chills are going to make it feel like it's in the teens and 20s out there. So you really going to want to bundle up as we have a lot of travel disruptions and uh, delays so you're going to have fresh snow on the ground uh, a lot of blowing snow could be possible as we're going to have those 20 to 30 mile an hour winds blowing from the northwest and it's going to make for uh, a pretty sticky situation on monday morning so um again i'm here to let you know what to expect so don't say you didn't know if you get caught out there so you're getting a warning from me so uh here's your monday looking like on the national picture as we have we're going to see a lot of cold air out there pretty cold across the center of the country right now right in this region here we're seeing a chilly down here across the central and southern plains the desert southwest as well through the um rockies the inner mountain west pretty cold out there rather nice on the west coast so we're not going to talk about you guys at all you would you're not worth a mention in this video because your weather is going to be beautiful and perfect out there so shut up so anyway my peeps in the northeast and in the north here the upper midwest the great lakes here the ohio valley the northeast new england it's going to suck this weekend and early next week. It's going to be cold. It's going to be windy. And some of you are going to be dealing with some snow for the first time this season. You haven't seen snow since uh, last February or March. So here we are. Welcome back to winter, everybody. As we are in late fall now, we're getting uh, geared up for the Christmas holiday. And here is a shot of cold, cold air. We do have to give a shout out to the folks across the southeast on so the Gulf Coast, right here in the southeastern U.S. Going to be nice and dry, but a little bit chilly, but it will be nice and dry for you folks down in the, in the Carolinas and Georgia and maybe down in southern Mississippi and Alabama as well. So, yeah, very cold weather for you. And as we head into next week, Monday and Tuesday, so we have a storm that's going to be located over the Northland here in Canada, and that's going to travel across um, near the U.S.-Canadian border. Going to be an Alberta Clipper type system. Not going to leave much precipitation across the upper Midwest, but that will spread a little precipitation across maybe northern Wisconsin, the upper peninsula of Michigan, the northern part of the boot of Michigan, Ontario, so Toronto and Montreal might pick up some snow, and eventually we're going to see that snow moving into upstate New York, 
Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and Massachusetts. So that storm system is going to make its way over into northern New England and Nova Scotia by the time we get through Tuesday and maybe Wednesday. So another round of snow and wind and cold air for the Northeast again. After this shot, you're going to get a reinforcing shot right about midweek next week. So a little bit for something, a little bit of something for you to chew on there. So uh, I'm your meteorologist, Mr. G, with bad news, and I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, so please don't blame it all on me. I will see y'all tomorrow in the next video as we fine-tune things and update the forecast and, and how things change. I don't think there was going to be much change in the progression of this weather pattern that we're having. So thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to me on TikTok and YouTube. And I will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye-bye.